Are there any questions? Right? Ah, yeah. Perfect. Je peux parler en français, c'est un problème. Vas-y, on va ouais. traduire. Mais, tout d'abord, félicitations pour le film, monsieur Amari. Euh, J'ai beaucoup aimé la scène dans le bar, dans, dans l'hôtel, où justement euh, Jean Barlibar répétait son texte, ou Barbara. Et justement là, euh, au bout d'un moment, dans le film, je me suis demandé, enfin, au fond, c'est quoi un personnage Et... Euh, voilà, ma question c'est peut-être euh, si, si en faisant le film, vous, vous avez aussi prévu de provoquer une espèce de euh, réflexion sur ce, sur ce fait, enfin sur cette question, c'est quoi au fond un personnage Uh, ganz kurz nur übersetzt, uh, Felicitation, also Gratulation. Uh, und er hat sich auf eine bestimmte Szene uh, uh, bezogen, uh, die ihn dann in weiterer Folge dazu zur Frage gebracht hat uh, an, an Mathieu, uh, ob das uh, beabsichtigt war, auch überhaupt über, über den, den, uh, das Sein einer Figur, also was macht eine Figur aus, was ist eine Figur, uh, eben Barbara oder oder die, die, die Schauspielerin, also ob das so quasi der, der, der Sinn der, der, der Arbeit war, über dieses, über dieses Thema Figur an und für sich zu reflektieren. Boah, c'est un peu long, mais... Okay. Uh, oui. uh, en anglais, uh, si uh, yes, possible, yes, yes. Uh, sinon... Um, well, yes, because it was a biopic, so uh, we had to deal with a mythology, you know, and Barbara loved to have masks. She would call herself sometimes not the clown blanc, but the black clown, you know, something like that. And she, she, she invented something of, with her body, with her face. She was always hidden behind the, the piano, wouldn't sing her own songs for more, almost 15 years, only singing Brassens, Brel, uh, Fraxon, and all that. And then She sort of got the courage to step out of from the piano, go to the public, and then at the end, when she didn't have any voice anymore, she would just lie down on the piano and the public would, would sing the songs for her. <laughs> and it's, so we had to deal with uh, a character, yes. And maybe it, I thought that it would be more alive or more, um, to have a courant d'air, comme on dit courant d'air. Yeah. Okay. And that's like, like if there was a lot of mirrors, you know, like uh, dans, dans le, le film d'Orson Noël's avec Rita Ewers, where there is a lot of miroitement, mm. miroir, Spiegelungen, also in alle Richtungen. And to not, and that maybe if I could say just feelings of the emotion, the sensuality of the, her songs and her music through a woman today and going, so not having to do a period film, uh, expensive uh, with what I would have had to do with if I had a lot of money and to tell, you know, uh, like the life of a saint because that's what biopics are about. It's about moral issue usually and they're going through the body and the voice and the fantasy of Jeanne uh, today ah, that was exciting that was my love uh, through Barbara through Jeanne and uh, and to create for Jeanne a sort of huge playground as an actress so that She could, uh, and yeah, of course we didn't ask ourselves those questions because if you ask those, you, you die, you know, you, you do. I wanted really that there was just feelings and sensations, but I, I tried to do the film as a normal biopic and I was stuck. So doing just this stupid film in the film that is not at all original, it's just, You mix two, two genres, 
the biopic and the film, and the film it created this sort of uh, vibration. Yeah. Ja, Fragen, bitte, bitte. Es gibt ein Mikrofon auch. Ja. For the public, why it is Brigitte, why Jean Balibar plays Brigitte and Brigitte, the, the, the relation to the, to the to Barbara. And could you explain the, the big lines of this, of this structure? Oh well, I'm not a university guy. I can't really explain. I just I think I just said you know, if I if Jeanne had to be Barbara, just like a film. Uh, biopic, uh, usually if you play a legend, I find that for actors, you might quickly be stuck in a sort of prison where you have to look like the person that everybody knows because she's famous. And it's, it can be just, in fact, people are like, you know, like in the newspaper when you look at the the resemblance, you, you look at the difference. Ah, she has the same glasses. Ah, there she's not exactly, ah, that is the, good. That, mm, for an actor, it's a bit, you know? And there, if it's just, yeah, it's courant d'air, I don't know. Yeah. It's just that it's, it's, it's the breathing of the songs of Barbara that inspired me. I think that's sort of uh, more, uh, fant fantasy and uh, a live uh, movement and try to have fun with movies. Try to just, uh, how come movies can make us, it's, uh, it has th something to do with faith. Uh, we can believe in, in false things in more strongly than real and and there's, there was the, a rhyme between Jeanne's silhouette and Barbara, yes, but try to, I don't know, play with that. And then, uh, you know, I don't, I write a lot before, a lot, and, uh, and then I rewrite uh, in the night before the shooting, you see? And then what I would do is, uh, so I had a lot, I was like an historian, a, a, a documentalist of Barbara. I knew everything. I knew everything day by day of her real life. So I was like a sponge. I could just, and I would say two or three things to Jeanne. And I preferred to do uh, uh, very long shots, 20, 25 minutes, uh, because Jeanne, uh, maybe you saw her in Berlin at the Volksbühne. She, she, she plays in Kastorf's play. Uh, six hours uh, in German, not her language. I mean, she can she can invent, she can disobey, and that's very important for an actor to just go and grab something and just. And it, because the, the shots were long, she would forget that she was playing Barbara. <coughs> she wasn't stuck in just imitation, you know. <coughs> she would, and something of her would appear. appear. And that's what, uh, that's what moves me, is this. I wouldn't have done a film on Barbara if there wasn't Jan. You see what I mean? I wasn't supposed to do the film. It was Pierre Léon that you know, because he came to the Viennal with his film. Uh, he's the guy who on the screen plays uh, uh, this um, editor who comes, the publisher who comes and wants her to do Poète d'aujourd'hui who asked her her age, that's Pierre Léon, that's the guy who was supposed to do the film. He wanted to do this film for eight years, and uh, he didn't find the money. Uh, he, I, ins I, was, uh, I inspired myself uh, from him to play the character because he really had his life modified by Barbara. And uh, three years ago, he, as a friend, he said, I will never make it. What if you try to do it? <laughs> and it was really not a, a, a gift to uh, do a period film biopic uh, where now with internet, I mean, uh, we have those archives that are so beautiful. What can cinema 
how can cinema be stronger than than internet with what we can see of our legends that we all and that was also why there was this sort of structure structure let's say this this game i don't know this like music no like uh, like drug i don't know like a trip or like a un filtre d'amour, I don't know, something like that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it was also you uh, saying that what you have learned from, from uh, Louis May, for instance, uh, was that uh, this film, uh, I like the, 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 the quote, the film itself decides how it needs to be made. So yeah. it is a little bit the same story, I think, or, 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 with this uh, Barbara. The, 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 the film made, uh, yeah, itself. Yes. You have to, you have to find a way. It's true, but by working a lot, huh? Mm. Because sometimes young people think, oh, then I don't need to work. I'm gonna wait for inspiration. That doesn't exist. You have to, you have to work like a dog, and forget everything, and create a sort of dispositif situation, like situationist, a situation where maybe the, the yes. Uh, the, 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 Things arrive, and it's true that it's the breathing of the film that sort of brings the crew, everybody, in something that maybe sometimes just surprises you yourself a little. Yes, just try to create that sort of between uh, maîtrise. How do you say maîtrise? Uh, also, prinzip uh, uh, zwischen Kontrolle yeah. oh. and, uh, and abandon. Und, und, und eben äh, laufen lassen, einfach die Dinge wirklich äh, That's the difficult thing with movies. übergeben. Ja. Hm. It, it costs so much money. It's complicated. Uh, so since, as you correctly stated, uh, I at least didn't know anything about Barbara before this, I couldn't really distinguish between um, scenes that seemed like they were real uh, films uh, with her and the films that, uh, uh, and the, the, the parts that you shot, and some moment I realized, oh, there's a difference. What was that? Uh, namely, the, the scenes in the car, mm. and maybe also the, the one film that we see, where there's a love scene, and then the camera goes up, uh, uh, that's projected on the wall. Mm. Is it? Yeah, these are the things. Um, yes, it, it was another way of playing on the possibility of a uh, incarnation that cinema could you know I was and I thought that at one moment maybe because I I knew about this document of 40 minutes that had filmed the husband of her uh, costume designer and so he had filmed her in a car and that film is not known at all nobody saw it but it's and I, I was imagining uh, we see her and with the cinema, if we shoot in 16 millimeters, there are characters, her Romanelli and uh, the assistant that are at the rear of the car, and then, ah, oh, I can just, it's so easy, you know, it's, then it can be Jeanne maybe, and we can play on something where, like, like if we were Victor Hugo with the tables, and waiting for the spirit, you know, making the tables uh, move, and maybe her spirit will will arrive. So it was a bit like that. It was a bit like uh, those films, um, spiritism, and that was one way to do it. But it's I think there's ten minutes of the real Barbara in the film. Of course, when the actress Brigitte works, uh, she projects on her wall in her apartment real footage because I wanted how to do with the voice also. Uh, a biopic, hmm. again, the prison for an actress. Was she gonna do lip sync for one hour and a half on the real voice of Barbara? That would have been boring for her, for Jeanne. But in the same time, I wanted that people hear the real voice of Barbara because it's, that it, it's inimitable. I mean, Unique. it's it's part of our unconscious, collective unconsciousness, and uh, 
So that's way I could mix uh, all the pleasures, let's say. And that's why then at the end, when the piano leaves the, the studio that is destructed and she follows the piano and everything becomes white, and there you, in fact, you don't even know if it's Barbara or Jeanne that's singing anymore, sort of. And in fact, it's Jeanne who's doing lip sync on Barbara in that moment. That's the only moment. And in the other moments, it's Jeanne who's singing and playing piano. And, and at the end, there's no film anymore. Uh, uh, there's no, she's in a house, she lost her voice, and so it's singers from today. Lucasa, those boys who does a cover of Barbara, Berlin Pampin, that song, and uh, I don't know, because her house was like that, open to young people. She would uh, make them sing and help them, and she, I don't know, like, yeah. But the only moment in 16 millimeters of real footage is in the car, is with the l'accordeur de piano. When she says that uh, the little girl who almost died during the war was me, uh, and and also with the autograph, uh, yeah. that's all. And then we mix. Yeah. I don't want to interrupt yeah, you, and I know, I know, I know, I know. But that we will continue outside. Like exactly. I just wanted to say we have because, to free the, the um, because uh, there's a silent the film with musicians so that have to prepare. So it's a little bit of a room, but not so much.